Hello and welcome back, my fellow Edgemeisters. You might be wondering, why am I here? Because I kind of fucked up last episode. Well, that's okay. Hey! Toss me another clip! <laughs> W-R-O. They wouldn't last a day in deep ground. Breathe. Who were those men? Deep ground soldiers. Deep ground? Yes. The shadow of the Shinra Company, constructed by the former president, and completely hidden from the rest of the world. Constructed? His goal was to create an army of superhuman warriors, not once letting morality interfere. The man you met earlier, Azul, is also a member of Deep Ground, but he belongs to an elite unit known as the Sviets. The whole organization was kept a secret. That's why there's so little information on it. However, it's nothing like I expected. Not even a person in your position was informed? No. Other than the President himself, the only people who knew of Deep Ground's existence were most likely Heidegger, Scarlet, and the head of biochemical research, Bojo. After the President's death, the transfer of power to his son was carried out so quickly, I doubt Rufus was ever briefed on the project. As for me, I was told the information was on a need-to-know basis, and as an official in charge of urban development, I guess I wasn't on their list. All the intel we currently have on Deep Ground was only discovered recently when we came across some of Scarlet's old files. <sighs> Vincent. Have you heard of the mass disappearance that occurred recently in Juno? Hmm. I remember the report saying that 20 or 30 people suddenly vanished. That's what the report would like you to believe. It was determined internally that if the truth was leaked, they wouldn't be able to contain the inevitable panic. The actual number of people that went missing that day was 1,200. Hmm? Twelve hundred people simply vanished without a single trace. The WRO conducted a private investigation, but we came up empty-handed. Except for the rumors. Since the Junon disappearances, people in Edge have been on edge. They say that night after night you can hear screams coming from the direction of Midgar. Could it be the wind? Let me ask you. Does the wind sound like a thousand wailing souls? Listen. Can you hear them? The cries. Commissioner, a rogue transmission is being broadcast on all wavelengths. Stabbed 
and impaled, shot and executed without mercy. <laughs> the time has come to cleanse this world. <laughs> Where could that signal have... <clears throat> what was that? So the game decides to throw us into a what is essentially a rail shooter guard mission. And it's not as easy as it as it may seem since I'm already taking damage. Reticle is fairly small and pretty much gotta be dead on to hit these guys. Now one thing I'd like to note is that when Vincent decides to reload his gun, he loses so many freaking bullets, it's crazy. Uh, the section is extremely boring. I don't think you're really ever in any major danger. Except for like the random onslaught of uh, guard hounds. They just they tend to pop up at random. Yeah, we're still just doing the guard stuff. I'm knowing a lot of game developers, uh, if they're being assholes, they're... Oh. Uh, so, probably should mention that if you're, uh, they land on this thing, you take damage. Because why wouldn't you? Game loves cinematic shots. Are you all right? I'll be fine, but that's more than I can say for the engine. Vincent, if possible, I want you to continue on to Edge. That transmission we just saw troubles me. Once I have repaired the Shadow Fox, I'll need to return to headquarters. A WRO squad has already been dispatched to Edge. Join them and help liberate the city. I guess I have no choice. And you can actually see how quickly we got, uh, well, basically completely outclassed, or at least the potions get completely outclassed by uh, a single level up. Ah, sure you can see it. I forgot, I know it, it unlocks some sort of extras, but honestly, 
I don't remember what it is. But I'll try my best to unlock them. That bridge definitely is out. So let's continue on, shall we? Might as well use up all the potions we have. We're gonna get more. Nice thunder material, I didn't even imagine that. Come on now. Come on down here, Crimson. This is another way to kind of rack up combos, but the problem is that with the combos, uh, with how fast everything tends to be. And also, he definitely seems to be just randomly immune. I don't even understand why that is, but he, he just is, I guess. But yeah, this guy kind of goes around everywhere, does anything he kind of wants. So, and he gets randomly immune to damage sometimes, and I'm not sure why. Ah, screw it. There we go. Now the question is... Oh, we're not going back, so I guess the only way is to go forward. Actually, let's go, since we have it now. Thunder Materia. Might as well show it, show it off. Wonder, yeah, it actually considers both sides. That's kind of cool. I do really appreciate some of the cinematic touches they do. Not all of them, but you know. Some of them. It does give you some appreciation for the landscape of Final Fantasy. Coming to probably no surprise to anybody, uh, lightning chains. And it's really nice. Oh crap. That was just stupid of me.
I love that 19% is an S ranking for, for accuracy this, this time around. Wow, yeah. And our, our eradication rate is absolutely atrocious. We're still going to level up because, seriously, why not? Not a lot we can... We can upgrade, I mean... Increase the power of normal barrels, reduce the weight of long barrels, and the power of short barrels. All nice, not gonna lie. But there's not much that we really need from these. But let's go on to the next stage. Who's asking? Vincent Valentine. Reeve sent me. My apologies. Shalua Rui of the WRO. The Commissioner has told me much about you. What happened here? That's what I'd like to know. I'm here on other business, but something's not right. It's too quiet. I've seen no trace of Deep Brown, or the squads that were sent in to fight them. Also, where are the 500 people who are supposed to still be living here? Well, this is getting us nowhere. Like I said, I have business to attend to. I'll see you around. Business? The Commissioner keeps telling me I'm wasting my time. My time searching. Searching for what? For my reason to live. All right. Now that everything is done, strangely, when you leave the shop, it doesn't save. So we're gonna have to do it in a very weird and obscure way. And I'm sorry for that. But we are gonna go save it here. We will see you all in the next time.